Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create or display or draw a vertical profile using Microsoft Excel from Civil 3D Autodesk. So for instance, you have a vertical profile here with stations and elevations. So I want to do a display this in Microsoft Excel. So now the process is we need to generate a report either in CSV or in any other format like Land XML so that we can access those points in order to display a graphical presentation using Microsoft Excel. So in Autodesk Civil 3D, what you are required to do is you need to go to your toolbox where you get your report manager by clicking the toolbox, the report manager, because this is a vertical profile, that means we expand here, profile. So by expanding profile here, because you need this profile in either in CSV or in some format which can be readable by Microsoft Excel, that means we are required to select profiles in CSV. So by double clicking this, it will give us a dialog box option that means for my case i'll i'll go with the default and specify an xml you can leave this by default then pressing ok that means our autodex civil 3d will automatically generate a profiles in csv format which later i'm going to show you how to display this beautiful in microsoft excel so that's it so it opens our csv or microsoft excel format that's it. So we have like PVI, point of vertical intersection, station elevation, graded cover length. So for my case, because I'm interested in only two particular columns, station and elevation, that means I'll copy this, then I can just minimize, then open a new spreadsheet, that means I'll paste them here. So by pasting here, these are pasted as only values. So I want to do the data cleaning so that we can use and display this graphically in, my, in our beautiful Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to do now to remove the blank rows now. So how to do this, you press Ctrl G. There's a video I did previously on how to delete blank rows easily. So I'll put a link if you want to follow it up. So I'll go first here by Ctrl G, then special. That's Ctrl G means go to special. So I'll select blanks here. So by selecting blanks, this I'm doing the data cleaning of my data from AutoCAD Civil 3D. So by pressing OK, all my blank rows will be selected. That means I'm able now to delete sheet rows. So by clicking delete sheet rows, all the empty rows have been deleted. So that's it, that's the first step. So after doing that, that means I have my station and elevation. Okay, fine, I can just make this bold and just get that way, yeah. Let me put this in caps, station and elevation. Yeah, that's it. So after having this, what I'm required to do now, because these are numbers, I want to put these stations in change. I remember previously I also did the same, and I, I did a video showing how to display these numbers mathematically using Microsoft Excel easily to assign changes. So I, there's a video, I put a link on it, but I'm just going to do it here slowly and fast <laughs> at, at par. So how to do it is first I need to insert a sheet column here. So by insert a sheet column, that means I'll put an equal sign, then plus, like connecting, then I write text here, text formula, then by clicking this text formula, then I bracket a value, that means the value is this one here, then I put a comma here, then I want to know because it asks for the format text, so format text, because I want to change the format, then zero plus zero, 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 then string close, then bracket, then bingo, so I have this in change already. So I can just drag to the most, the end of the road, which is 12.792 kilometers. So I have my changes here already. So that's it. So now I want to, I want to now to, to use these numbers, change format into a way that I can just play around with them and see how I'm going to go about it. So I'll just go straight like that. Yes, I have all of them. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select this. Now because these are these are linked with the with this with this particular particular station. So I'm going to copy somewhere. But I paste them as values now here. Okay, yeah. So that means I can now take this, put it here, station, then take all this, control X, 
paste it here as another. So I can delete these rows now because they're independent now. Okay, so I have this. So now I want to do the transpose on how to make them so that they can look like a civil 3D GUI graphical user interface. So I'll just select them, copy. Now I want to put it some put them somewhere here at the bottom of this one here. So I'll select this, then paste, expand the paste option, then transpose here. Transpose. You see? So by selecting transpose, you have them already oriented in different direction. So I can because it's all selected. So now they're here at the bottom. So what you're trying to do is to create something like this here at the bottom here. You see? Something like this at the bottom by transposing. So now I have them. So what I'll do is I'll just do this. Right, right click here in this particular cell, then format cells. I want to format the cells to align them vertically. So I'll go to the alignment now because it's alignment. Then I'll turn this to 90 degrees. You see? 90 degrees. So by pressing OK, that means my values are already oriented to the particular direction. So for my case, for this, I can just put, put them in a vertical way, format cells for this particular two values. Then this, I can put it in 40, somewhere zero. Okay. So for profile station, these are horizontal aligned and these ones are just like that. So you can just, you can do the formatting here, just like this. Yeah, selecting. Yeah, just like that. So what we're going to do now, we need to to select all of them. So by selecting all of them, now we need to insert a graph. So we need to go insert button. Then here are recommended charts. So they are different. So we need to select this one here. Use this chart 2D line. So by, by selecting this, that means we have it already. See, the profile is starting to give a shape. A beautiful one, I can say. So I'll make it to start it from here, then do the expanding using the diagonal, diagonal box lines. So I'll just go directly to that side. Yes, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. So you see here, so we're on chain age nine. So you can just take it to the, to chain age 12. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Yes, you're starting to get something in shape. Yeah, there you are. Bingo. Just like that. So you see, it looks like we have something already. Of course, I've done the, a lot of expansion and you can always keep it because this is very big. So that's that, that's like that. So now you need to format now. You need to select this, then chart design. So from chart design, you can just go to here, then grid lines, you can add major vertical here yes like that takes the the shape there then you can add some of the other elements like chart title here above chart so it's not seen you need to scroll here above chart here so you can add it here so you can write here so this is vertical vertical alignment from Civil 3D to Excel. Then you can bold it and underline it. Okay. So that's the way of doing it. So this is the way of displaying your this Civil 3D data in Microsoft Excel. Actually, the vertical profile. So you can, if you, if you find it's too big, you can always get it from here. I mean, sorry get it from here, decrease, so that it looks, it gives a shape, sort of, because it has been very much elongated. See? Can reduce it to chain H5 here. We get a similar shape here. So you see, there's a bump here, and just like that. So when you go to our c 3 d here, here you can look at it. There is somewhere first of chain age here. There is something two plus zero six. It's the topmost bottom. Then we'll go and cross check here. At the end, there is a bump here, which I was saying here. So two plus zero six, we can cross check here. Two plus zero six, two plus zero six, two plus zero six here. Somewhere here. 
2 plus 0 6 0 2 plus 0 6 0 yeah so that's it that's it 2 plus 0 6 0 yeah somewhere here so there's a bump so that's it so that's the way of doing it using microsoft excel thank you a lot